These are arrowwood viburnums ready for pickup here at Highland Hill Farm. These are field raised and they grow very well in shaded, wet soils of Bucks County and Northeast United States. And an interesting thing about the arrowwood viburnum is that it can grow directly under walnut trees. Walnut trees put out a toxin called Jungens and it kills a lot of trees and shrubs. But the arrowwood viburnum is resistant and can grow there. And in a few seconds I'm going to take you over and I'm going to show you a wild arrowwood viburnum that grew native in this area and show you where it's found in a habitat in this woodland setting as you see back through here. And this is an arrowwood viburnum growing in a native setting and you can see it's quite large and uh, it does quite well in these areas along a woodland and up against big trees in a shaded wet area. So if you have any other questions about trees and shrubs for a wet area give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. This is Mike Hurst. He's at Highland Hill Farm, and we're getting ready to plant cranberry viburnums in the field. Okay, well, we pulled them out of the greenhouse, and we let them out real good, because we don't know the next time they're going to get a real good rain. Uh, so then what we do is we just pull them out, and I set them here. Then LT goes and takes them, put them into the tree planter. And after we get a good load on the, the tree planter, then we start planting back and forth with it. And uh, after we finish planting, then we go back through and we push some soil around it to make sure that the, there's lots of soil around the tree so that the plant that we just planted doesn't dry out. And uh, after we get finished with planting, then we'll come back, we'll spray it once with some uh, pre-emergence, and then they should be good to go for a while. And how many are you going to plant here today? Oh, uh, we're going to try to do about 300 or so of these guys, or these cranberry American arborvitaes. Then we're going to switch over, and depending on how much room we have left, either it would be uh, Serbian spruce or Elicatissima arborvita. Now the soil looks a little bit dry here. What do you think is going to happen? Well, the reason it's dry, it's actually, this is actually one of the wetter fields that we have. And the reason it's dry is because yesterday, two days ago I plowed it. Then yesterday I used the harrow and broke it up more. And this morning I used the disc, so there's a lot of movement in the soil and that dries it out. If it just gives some more time, uh, what happens is that underneath the first so layer of soil, there is moisture still there. And if we just pile up enough dirt around it, that dirt that we pile around it would hold the moisture in for it. Okay, well thank you very much, Mike. And we're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. Now they're going to have to go back and reset some of these that aren't in correctly. The end of the row is always difficult to do.
It's a very small field. It's rough planting here. There's a lot of roots, a lot of obstructions. This is Bill, we're at Highland Hill Farm, and this is a seedling field here where we just planted some arrowwood viburnums. And it's miles from the nearest water source. So what we do is we will bring in the water to the site. And these are what we're watering currently. We're using a drip water line onto the trees. And that's used in order to water the trees effectively with just the right amount of moisture. We bring the water in in large tanks, about a, about a thousand gallons, 500 gallons at a time, depending on how big the field is. An old mobile home trailer. Mike, he's going to hook up this water line. I'm going to make sure we keep the lines clean from one day to the next because if there's any dirt in the line, it transmits right into the little nozzles that, and emitters that let the water out. So right now he's opening the tank up and water will start to flow. And this field will get watered about every three days. It's, a, it's the 27th of June, and we planted this field about th three days ago. And the trees all look really nice. These are viburnums down in here, and this is Elegantissima arborvita right here. And we can see one tree is out of the row. What happened there, Mike? Uh, well, I was going to straighten them, there's two of them that are playing together, I just threw up the one right after the 